That was really stupid here in the PS4 thing, I have to say that so you cannot have like a comment. The thing is that if you turn off the you read comments on your PS4, right, then you don't get to have like a cut in your screen. And I already have one screen next to me here so I can read comments and so on. Let's see people alive and so on. Uh, so that's really dumb. Like there's no point having that, I think, in the end run. Secondly, for that matter, you cannot turn off that I see people pop uh, comments, um, which I think is really weird. We should turn off that as well in PS4. Come on, Sony. Makes no sense if you have more than one screen. I mean, it makes sense if that has to be an option, but if you have more than one screen, why don't turn it off, right? So, an option to the, to the user. But yeah, this thing is really annoying. So, I just wanted to give my uh, broadcast. Uh, a title, like a subtitle on the actual Twitch channel, and not just like when you look at the Twitch channel, Twitch channel. Uh, but apparently you can't, <laughs> because that automatically changed into the, like the only having one screen and PS4 streaming, reading, commenting, uh, even if I had that thing uh, off before. So it switched that for me. Actually, also it's really bad UX. The game, uh, not again, the PS4 say like if you pay this option, this will, you know change this option for you that you have turned off um, by manually because when you start your first stream remember first stream 5 15 that was on so third off right so clearly the game uh, the game sorry this console the system should say that okay if you want to do this this is this will automatically go against your preview settings blah 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 right but it said nothing it just did it so when i started my last stream which I cut off because I was about to fix this. <laughs> then it happened, right? So yeah, that is that is that is not very good, not very good at all. And um, actually, several things I would not have done that. It's really annoying, actually, in, ma in many ways. Yeah, I don't really get it. I'm just wondering if I'm actually is streaming now because I can see. No, the screen is just, uh, <laughs> it's just spinning. <laughs> Let me just press a button over here, and hopefully, this is just uh, something like my internet is going down or something. Because I'm looking at my, of course, my broadcast, a modern stream, and it's just like, it's just doing the motion. I mean, it looks really bad here. Uh, I think I'm streaming. <laughs> they're just complaining about it, it's like, oh, they're stupid, I don't need this Sony stuff. It's like, okay, maybe I don't, maybe I do need it. No, it should work fine. Um, actually, I saw all the thing yesterday, right? Because yesterday, for the first time, I should remember it though, but for the first time in many years, um, or not many years, but the first time I actually used it, was uh, the Swedish, like, employment office, whatever you want to call it. The weird kind of thing they have. And oh god, I think the Swedish. Oh god, they have such a bad UX design. It's fucking horrible. Like, really, really horrible. Uh, they have many, many, many issues. Many issues. And clearly, it should be the most user friendly thing ever. Because they are trying to mainly, you know, they don't really do much, obviously, but they, like, like on paper, in theory at least, their job should be to help people get a job right. And uh, but for me, I know they won't do that. This is why I use them either. You just have to register that, so I get all my union P uh, fees and all my like uh, my vacation money and blah blah blah. So it's a lot of taxes, free, right? So I have to do all that stuff. So I just, I just want my money from the tax system, kind of thing, and get my taxes back and all of that. So I just, that's why I need to do that. Not not because I. Hope they can help me get a job or something like that. Like that's horrible. I almost already have a job anyway. Or I mean, I have my own. I'm going back to being my own consult, uh, consultant right now, and then hopefully I'll get some. Uh, hopefully, but perhaps I will mean, you know, work for a company again uh, if it's you know the right company. So I already turned down a few jobs so far, and uh, because they're boring pretty much. Like I am not interested in like this really crappy list what they're offering me. Uh, unfortunately, so yeah, but anyway, um, so I was saying, yeah, but the, but the page stuff, 
They should have the most user-friendly page ever, but it's the worst crap ever. <laughs> no, I've seen worse, but it's really, really bad. Especially as what they're aiming for, right? They're aiming for being user-friendly. That should be their aim, right? That because obviously the only people they could help, if I may say so, are people that have you know very low education, people that are looking for like, well, let's just give me a job that I can work at some, you know, convenience store. I can, I can work. I can, I can lift. Um, I don't know something at some farm or you know those are the only jobs they can maybe help with like in in, a, in actuality in, in real life. Fortunately, this didn't have very few of those jobs, so most people that go there can't get a job because they don't just really mismatch right. Um, <laughs> but that being said, though, it should be super user friendly because the people because most people they aren't maybe so tech savvy and so on, right? Or just old people, whatever, and so on. Senior citizen, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just, um, there are many, many issues. But what I'm not really the most is that when you want to sign up there, you have to pick your skills. Uh, and you're, you're only 18, and already there is stupid. Like, why can you only have 18 skills in total? Obviously, you have, you have a lot more if you actually have an actual occupation and actually have an education and so on. You have a lot of more skills. Like, use listing my tools. That is my S more than 18, right? This is my tools alone. Not Metallicist, not like this or this. This is tools like whatever, Jira, DevTrack, X, blah, 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 blah. Like if you list those stuff, or like, or like languages like, you know, C Sharp, Java, and so on, like, just that is more than 18. Just pure, like, technical data skills, right? And that doesn't include all the skills you could have, like, oh, I have leadership, coaching, blah, 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 or like, I have been coordinator of this or whatever like that, 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 that you blatant like technical skills and um, or experience and, and they are that that easily more than like 50 or something <laughs> yeah just for that alone and however though then you have really stupid system that if you also pick languages that you feel comfortable in your work that's a skill it's clearly not the same thing so some people have like yeah i can speak english and it's like okay english and you know and then ten, this, then 10 data stuff, right? But if you are like me, that had lived in several different countries in your life, you have read a lot of languages, you can speak some Japanese, you do some English, some Irish, you can do some Danish, Norwegian, and Swedish, and also some Mandarin and some Korean, you're like, well, these languages, and you're, yes, these languages I, can, I know some of, like, maybe this one I can work with, like Swedish, Norwegian, Danish, Japanese, as, yeah, pretty, pretty okay, and like German, and English, uh, so you know, this, that alone covers up, and then you have to share those. So it's 18 in total with that, you just share that with your technical skills. So what the fuck, but lastly, which is even more retarded, and the first thing is retarded already there, because if you have to select jobs that you can have or something like that, I mean, I'm only doing it because I want my union period, <laughs> I believe it will work. System is clearly faulted from the beginning, uh, but I just, you know, it's just a feeling something, right? And as a feeling that, it's like, um, you, just, you can fill in several jobs that you can do, and it's one of them is 18 skills easily, right? So that's horrible. But anyway, but the last thing then that makes no sense is that you also have to pick la uh, um, countries that you could work in, like, or you want to work in. You, know, you can, but you, you want to work in. And so, you know, I'm like, well, obviously, I can work in like in, you know, in the US, you know, to have a uh, few US companies, absolutely. So check for that. I would love to work for like Japan would work for me, okay Japan, I can work obviously in Sweden, fine <laughs> a little now. I could work in Ireland as I had before, okay fine. I could work in like Poland which I have before, okay fine. I could work in Nor Norway, which I have well not personally in the much part like my parents work in Norway. Why not? You know, and Denmark, absolutely I mean Denmark uh, for a bit like you know, and you can easily and that is absolutely retarded. So those uh, countries that you could select they're actually very important because those countries, right? Uh, because some of the employ if the system actually would actually make sense, but the, a lot of employees then that go into that huge database of users and so on, right? The whole city's fucking country on the system, right? And they go in there, they can see people that of course like, okay, this guy is like, you know, he can come here and work to like Ireland because we have this, you know, EU, EU, EU pass thing and easy, so so on. So for, for them it's important, right, that it can be like, you know, uh, you, can, you can select those countries, so to speak. And that is also the same thing. That is f 
fucking retarded. You can easily fill up, you know, 20, 30 countries in that, right? Easily. It's not alone. I, I can pretty much, and also what I noticed, you can't fucking select Europe, right? And I, I know Europe is bigger than just like European, EU, EU countries, but it feels like you could at least pick like the European Union or something, because if you're a European Union citizen, you know, you have a different passport and blah, blah, blah. So can't you just speak that thing? Which actually is very important for them because they have a lot of work in between these countries and different kind of work um, systems and so on. So it's like, why, why can't you pick that? Why do you have to go in and pick in between the countries like Norway, Denmark, and so on? That is stupid as well. <laughs> and so on. Well, Norway is really in the same thing, but anyway. No, but thing is that Norway has an already with Sweden. So you have, if you're Swedish, you have one deal with the European Union, so you can go to like Ireland, France, and so on, France, and, so on, and work there easily. But as a Sweden, Swedish, you can also easily go to Norway, Finland, and Denmark, and I guess Iceland, but no one ever fucking goes there. But yeah, so you can go to <laughs> Yulholt. So you have those things as well. That's like a Scandinavian trade agreement. So you have different trade agreements, right? Which are very important for, the, for how easy you can work and so on. So you should have, be able to select at least like, Scandinavia and European Union as two of those. Instead of being like, well, you have to list every country that you could, you, you, you could imagine working in. And of course, if you do that, you easily fill 18 slots. You easily fill that, right? So I was like, well, like, I guess it's USA, Japan, Sweden, or something like that. Because, and of course, it's really, really stupid because you want to be able to say, oh, I can go and work in mm -hmm, these countries and mm -hmm, these are my skills. So those employees can be like, well, we need someone with a, you know, uh, test manager, and we can, you know, we, we can pay for, you know, relocation, come here to Ireland, and, stuff. and they want that, right? So they want to be able to search for those, the combination of that. But if you want to work that in a more like, I don't know, three or four countries, it's really hard to fill out the list. And also, if you have to, if you have more than one fucking skill in your life, and you can do more than one possible, you know, occupation. It's really, really hard because one occupation fills in 20 slots easily itself. So if you have two, and I have like, you know, 20, I, I don't know, I have several, and it's like, yeah, I have like three or four main ones, and then some other, you know, sub. And it's like, yeah, these easily have 20 each, right? So I have to pick the one most uh, noticeable for each one. But anyway, I'm going to play the game now, but I just want to rant about that for a bit because Sweden, as in always, is very, very stupid. Administration in Sweden is absolutely horrible. And, uh, that is one of the things that everyone hates. Our experience in it. Everyone hates it. Everyone hates it. Everyone. The immigrants, Swedes are like, it's really mad, right? Everyone comes in for work. Everyone is for work. And even if you have a job, actually, that was fucking strange too. I remember they called me. Like, let's say two years ago, something like that. They called me and they were like, oh, do you have this blah blah uh, job? And I was like, I've been working for five years or like six years or something. I've been there once before. I'm gonna go there next week, just to get all my uni money, but I've been there once before in my life. It was like five years ago, six years ago, I don't know, one day. And absolutely useless, of course, but I was one day one time. And um, so yeah, then they called me like three or four years later, it's like two years ago now then. And they were like, oh, have you blah, blah, blah. You know, how has it been since then? Like we, this is a catch up meeting. I was like, what? I haven't been here for four years. And then she was like, oh yeah, we saw you got the job here. Because you have to by law go there, right? Because yeah. I was back in Sweden after I lived in Ireland for a year. And I was back in Sweden. I went there and I just never, uh, they didn't do anything. So I was like, well, fuck you guys. I just get my only job, I just go to Turkey. <laughs> you know, whatever, right? So I was like, I was there for like one day, speed for three weeks and I went away again. But anyway, so, so yeah, so they called me that last few years. I was like, okay. So, uh, you know, blah, 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 and they were like, oh, are you still looking for a job? And I was like, no, I mailed you with my contract and my details like four years ago that I had this job, right? And they were like, yeah, that's true. So, so then I have a job. And they were like, yeah, okay. And I have a job right now, back in Sweden then, at the time. And they were like, oh, uh, I pay taxes every month and so on. That's all in your records. So why, why do you call me asking me if I need this job that you found for me now? Four years later, they were like, uh, I don't know, whatever. I remember exactly, but it was kind of like that. They were very, very bad. <laughs> Hopefully, none of them ever watched this. Then, but no, seriously, no, no. They were, 
that face is fucking horrible. Like I, I, I retweeted yesterday. I was like, you know, why don't you fucking hire me for this? Like seriously, like, I can fix the fucking face in one day. Like it's so bad. Um, but he's the whole system is just horrible. It's very Swedish. Empty face is always horrible. It is just yeah, and you you know that they're not gonna do anything for you. You know that they're not gonna do anything for you. They're just there so you can report. I mean, they're literally there so I can go there, report to them. Like once every half year, so they can be taking this low effort value as well. Like I, I think they should have much more demand too. You know, I, I want them to have more demand. I want them to call me every week and say how it's going this thing, they be to this thing. Like they should do that, but they don't. So you have to just go there once. I mean, I never done it before, but everyone knows this is how it works. But so I mean, I never done this. I never got any union money or whatever. But I know how it works. So you just have to go there once, and you know, just register pretty much. And I never called them again, never asked them for them, they never called you anyway, like, they never gonna call you, it takes like years, and uh, you know, and that's it. And if you do that, you, you can register for your union money, and I can finally, my first time in my life is to get some union money, <laughs> back to me. But, uh, but it's like, what's the point? Like, what's the point? Can I get my union right away? Like, this is ridiculous. They only, they only exist to be like a database, and why do you even need employees there, right? To be honest, like it's such a tax money waste, and everyone, and everyone should hate them as well, like and, and the boss there. But it is a horrible system. Like, as they don't do anything actually for you, uh, as uh, said, it's registering you, you know, and you can register online these days with your bank at least and so on. With your, you know, I you can online at least, and so you don't even need them. You have to just go there one day, but you can pretty much not go there. You just register online, and there'll be enough pretty much. Right, and has some tax uh, money and your your you know your declarations or uh, have that stuff uh, as you know, files right on the computer. That should be enough, pretty much. You, you know, why, why, yeah, why, why do you need the human interaction there? It's just pointless. Uh, and I mean, in the end, you're gonna, you're gonna go there, right? And you be like, talk to them for 10 to 30 minutes, and then you never talk to them again for the next like two, three years or something. <laughs> you're still gonna get your. Uh, so you get your money and everything now because they don't need to give you the money. They just they to register you, so then you get the other pipe and give you the money. So they're absolutely pointless. It's horrible, really. And I'm costing like hundred million dollars every year in taxes, right? So yeah, that that's fun. It's very fun. <sighs> anyway, yeah, back to the game. So I rant a little about everything, but it's, but it's basically everything from the pages is bad, you know, to the whole. Yeah, this is gonna be the the water, the Uman bush, that it was called. Probably this is a water here as well. Yeah, it's one of those cool things. It's like this dry thing out in the water, which you have in real life. Um, Yokai and pirates. <laughs> the Yokai pirates. Oh yeah, I'll definitely now for sure. Aki province. Uh, yeah, I'll go up here. If you play, for example, uh, I think Final Fantasy 32, I'm thinking of. You had love that stuff in this game. You like, you stay here, it's like, okay, go here. Fragment. <laughs> yeah, you turn around. And like more classic Mega Man games, where you like go and jump up like a tree or something, and then you'll find uh, something. Very classic Mega Man. You, you, you find a heart if you like go back one step and jump into the wall or something. It's like a secret, you know, max life heart. All of that. Oh, Fuku. Okay, so Yoka Pirates. Ooh, something good. Hopefully. Uh, okay, epic wind. If I am that. The lot of like this used to be holy ground. But now it's crap. <laughs> it's like yeah, past little issues in this, in this game world. It's like this used to be holy land, but now it's horrible. This used to be this, but now it, no, no. If you do it die, you can Let's check it out. Yes. Yes, you can't swim in the game. I didn't think you could, but I wonder now. 
I wanted to know. Okay. No, seriously, what, what do I need that thing for? Honestly. Um. Ah, oh God. But it can't be the new one. You just got this flint. Why isn't the flint here? This is the weapon of the game. Clearly, weapon of the game. Why? Why isn't this? Why? why isn't, oh, I used by the way. <laughs> okay, all items. Newest. Okay, still. Why isn't the flint here? That's a, it, what, what's the issue with this game? I just got. She just gave me the flint. And some, you know, magical armor. And I guess you can use the other magical, like those, uh, giving you like fire attacks or something. Something like that. And she gave me a flint. You know, suppose give you like fire sword or something. That is crazy. Okay, it's a rarity. Because clearly, then, it should be here. Or the usable, like a talisman. It's like a. Did she give me like, uh, like this thing for fire? What is here, I suppose, but what's the flint then? Okay, I, uh, fuck, seriously, okay. They could go on, but that is strange. But anyway, yeah, completely new uh, kind of surrounding, a lot of water, very dark. You have to die if you, yeah, probably so. If you watch the house, you don't die here. A lot of places you can fall down on. Uh, yeah, I would bet it definitely the boss is one of those. Uh, the big. Uh, so you even, you know, they always get the weapon upright if you toss them. That's the with those zombies that don't do that. You can shoot, I think. Yeah. And he gets both logs, I guess, somewhere else. Okay. Oh. That was easy. Hey, come the ball. Children spirit. <laughs> I got him. That was nice. I love the pistol yelling this in the you know, narrow passage. It's always sound or something is here. Yeah, so you have the pirate who defile this place. Then we get even serious now. I think so, I think so. It's best by guessing this thing. The pirates, they uh, defile the shrine, and you know, then you get really, really mean spirits. I know I defile the shrine, but nothing. Uh, <laughs> but it's classic in, uh, definitely in Japanese folklore. Which makes it kind of like really annoying. They have to really, you know, constantly beg to the gods. If you do something wrong, they get pissed off, and <laughs> then you get killed, right? Yeah, it's really annoying. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's good. That's enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's because they can Japanese. See the anime or something like that. Yeah, so it's really... But yeah, like, uh, this is called like Neko Neko something, where you put a guy that accidentally like pushed down like a statue of a cat, a Neko cat, and then he can speak to cats, but they have to help cats. Right, after that. Oh. Um, my aim. <laughs> there we go. You know, 
very tense again, yeah, this. So I was like that if you do something wrong to the gods, they get angry. And just do it. Very, very common. Uh, What demon suddenly? Oh, A lot of dead bodies here. I thought it would be worse. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be worse here. Like, this is a lot of people that died. Who are they noobs? Are oh, these noobs, man? I'm gonna kill this guy with death. This guy is gonna die. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. It's very close to the bottom here. Side of wall, right? Not on the side, I guess. Very close there. Um, but I guess it can move around the whole building. <laughs> Do you get it? It's gonna be a long path to go there. Um, let me snipe you. Shot him. That's very well. Wasting arrows. I am better than that. Yeah. Whoa. You could fall down if you are unlucky. So call them all under that. Yes. See, I love having that uh, accessory. Shows you the call them Very good to have. There you go. Just go out here. Why would I go out here? There's a pathway up there, probably. Um, so I know where. Oh, I thought I had him on my aim there, Um. So far, it's, like, it's an easy stage, I would say. Whoa! Wait, two of them? What the Fire, so that's nice. Some archer. Yes. Mm. That's a 
Yeah, it's not sure. Death is suspicious. Um, hmm. Let's call them all. Okay, there's an arm that's probably it. Okay, the cut them all. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what's down here in here. So you can see it's like high up there. That ball will be something of some kind of thing. A red one is weapon. Chance for weapon drop. But don't don't quote me on that. I think, I think it's a uh, weapon drop. Pretty sure. Um. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Were well, there something else? So you have to kill. It might be a strong demon here, I'm not too sure. We'll find out. Take one of these guys. Nice. Not very nice. Mm -hmm. Life point on this guy. But yeah, I was a little uh, clumsy. I was, I was like, I managed to die faster. Oh, this was suspicious. Like, I don't want to walk in here. Yeah, I mean, the map shows me this would be the right path. Wait, is the boss here? The boss? Right here. Well, the map is much bigger than. Uh, where the boss is. Yeah, this is the boss. Huh. That's interesting. I thought this would be like... Yeah, okay. So I'm probably gonna die now on the boss then. Should not be more in here then. I don't think it was the boss, but yeah. Uma Bushy. There it's called. Yeah, Uma Bushy. Okay, someone's guy with weapon in them. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't even have weapons on me, yeah, like I'm out of weapons, everything else. Horrible. Whoa! That's what I want from him. Oh damn it! Like I, yeah, like I, I, com I completely missed out. <sighs> that wasn't good. That was very bad. Uh, so the boss was right there. I did not imagine the boss to be. Which is the orange or brown? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, but yeah, I did not expect the boss to be so, so dear, like so early. Um. Because we have like two Cosmos on this map. Oh yeah, this is, then the map is way, uh, like way uh, you know, open. It's always like we have a lot things in the map. You're fine, you know, excluding the actual like Yeah, a lot of stuff to find them. That's open. Uh, very interesting in this game. Looks like that. Super short with the boss time to find this path. There should be uh, another shrine, I believe. I even saw another shrine. Yeah, I saw a shrine to the left here, so. Oh. Knew it? Nope. I hear it every now and then. Yeah, so it's like. You can walk over here. Man, this is an interesting in level design. You can very easily go to the boss side, but you clearly have a lot of stuff to explore in this map. A lot of cool demos to find, a lot of stuff to get for. Just like the boss fights.
Very interesting. Okay, so let's go in here. I wanna go to the roof then. Oh yeah, nice. Or you couldn't actually go higher than that. Okay, but maybe we can go around here. Yep, nice. Yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? I mean, this is a huge uh, stage. Uh, and you can go, yeah, you can go around for a long time here. Wow, you mean this is, this is huge? I mean, look at this map. This map is a huge, it's a huge map, right? but the boss is just less dangerous at the beginning of the actual stage. Very uh, interesting. Particular design. Giving you a lot of the open. Uh, yeah, there's a shrine down there. Um, even. I don't know really. I'm imagining it being a code or a code or somewhere up here. Yeah. Very nicely designed here. The demon is like spirited under me here. Get off my roof, man! Get off my roof! Get off my roof! Yeah, we're only have done this bad. What is this room? Oh, fuck! Oh god damn it! Okay, god damn it! Okay, where's the damn Kudubu? I didn't see jump down there. Ah, oh. you don't want to jump down there, definitely not. Um. Very interesting man, I mean it's very quickly you can get out to the boss. There's one like tanky demon over in the way, a few enemies, uh, or you can go around and like <laughs> run around on the roof and shit. I mean this, this is one of the biggest, this is so far also one of the shortest if you go to the boss. Very, I'm, I'm intrigued by this, uh, definitely. I'm a person or like a... What the heck? Oh yeah, he fell down, so I guess he respawned though. Put into the water, of course. So, okay, so how do you get to the column over here then? Uh, to the right here? Yes, you can walk. Yes, you can. Yeah, I'll see before, that's a shrine. Okay, yeah, that's the second shrine. Which I guess is a little shorter to get to the boss, I suppose. Not that much shorter, but yeah. So much shorter. Uh, but here then, it's clear to put them here. But you don't want to jump down here, you want to jump down on the outside. You wanna, yeah. Oh, it's a ladder here. Oh, nice. I missed the ladder before completely. Here we go. There we go, it's good. Yay! Yeah, that's. That's why you have this pathway. And then you can jump down if you want so much. I won't use. Instead, so I'm gonna jump down to the shrine. Uh, we should be. Yeah, it should be this bad, right? So you can go here, and then you can jump down, I think. And then have the shrine. You respawn the enemies, but I, I think I'd rather save here. I'd rather be here, I, I, I believe so. But yeah, we can actually probably improve this thing now. See, so I have a lot of this one. That's great. So let's keep it that happy. We're not gonna change anything. Nope. <laughs> uh, I mean, like 20% more spirit points, basically. Or it's like 1% more items. Uh, no thanks. Three, uh, but actually, it's weapon items and armor items. Yeah. And it's, it's pretty good, actually. This is probably the best thing the boss has to tell on you. And also, also overall, of course, the more you have, the more code you have on you, um, the more elixir you can have on you before you start as well. It makes the bosses so easy, right? Uh, but yeah, that's what I was. Four of those, so that's is a no-brainer. 
I've been here before. Oh yeah, it's even, oh yeah, it's probably have to pet that right now. It's already on the path. And then we are here, yeah. yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, now we are at the boss run, if you want to go to the boss quickly. So that's probably the easy way to the boss then. Uh, I want to explore this place a little more before I go. This one might be locked then. Also. Nice. So here's something moving. Red demons over here. Uh, Oh, those things are fast. The fire too again. I have it a lot of these trolls. Ah, what? Yeah, they're really, they're really quick. Um, yeah, it's like a birdie. Yeah, not very easy. Okay, so yeah, I mean, huge map really. Maybe the biggest in the game so far. And see the boss is just next to it, <laughs> the entrance. So weird. Did I die now? I don't think so. No, we can walk here. Alright, what can we do? Okay. So, chest on an Super weak against fire, so. Okay. An archer. Heat wing! Come on! Just take it right away. Uh, yeah, if you want. Okay, this is a yacht idea. I think you're going to think, seriously. Yeah, you can. Nice. There's a houseboat. Ah, oh, cool. Pull them over there. I'm gonna not die here. I mean, it's not gonna die after. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. That's a. Mmm. Oh. Fuck's sake. So I had the right item on me. I had the right one. Alright. Uh, I lost me some. Uh, lost me some. Uh, I'm gonna eat I mean. I was gonna stack on the Marita anyway because I had my most of my Marita at the actual boss level, so like, fuck it, but uh but yeah. Ignore this guy down for now. Um let's put him here, yeah. Yeah there was another side, I saw it here very clearly. We have to get there though, but yeah. Let's go here. So, uh, yeah, the archer here again, yeah. Fall back with the archer. So my body is to the right, yeah. So the code mode is up on the boat here, the houseboat thingy. If we want to get that one. Give this skeleton. Archer, this one probably. Alright, I'll the other way. So, yeah, let's move this damn. Just scared of because you die if you do, you know, if you die, so. Just want to be very careful here. 
Uh, okay, so now we go up here then. Uh, so there'll be one zombie, that one is really dangerous. It's very, very cramped in here, so you're gonna be... Probably gonna do this thing, actually. No, fuck it. Let's go like super serious mode here. I'll play that way. Interesting. Uh, very clumsy. Nice. Okay. A huge axe there. They're very careful. Nice, nice. Quickly. And he's dead. The Kodomo under the one side. <laughs> there it is. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Perfect down here, actually. Oh, where's the perfect down here? Pretty sure I've been there, but it's like the perfect day. It is like uh No maybe there was a boss uh, the boss but that's what kind of boss is. Uh, but yeah we're on the other side now I think of the, of the roof thing. I have seen more actually. Oh an archer. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of moving around on uh yeah, exactly. This is a weird code of thing. Uh, I can admit that I'm very confused at this time <laughs> sometimes. See, so yeah, I have you down here. Um, the code of to the left there. I don't know how to get there. Maybe if you move the thing. Yeah, it works. Nice. Great. Uh, can you see how you have? Oh yeah, this thing. Yeah, I didn't kill it before. Oh, whatever. I'm just ignoring it. Uh, yeah, I'm wondering if you can actually see how many you have in the stage. And obviously, I know it's one over there, but I think I have most of them by now. Maybe like half of this. I don't know. Okay, so kind of. Probably only... Yeah. That's I guess. They just to fall off easily here. Yeah, the danger here is that you can fall off so easily too. You have to be very careful when you know, attack the game as well. He's on a shrine actually. Huh. Do I want this shrine? <laughs> this is like... Do you actually want to save at this shrine? I am actually not sure. Because... I mean, we know where the boss is, right? And the other shrine is close to the boss. I would imagine, but... I probably don't, I don't probably want to save her. Like, seriously. Why would I want to save here? Do you want to press every shrine in the game? And just save it here, then this is... You're gonna get the roof, you do the other code boss, I guess, but... You can see what I got. Um, it's really like, why would I do it? Oh! Nice! With every one of the Oracle Blessing. Yeah, so now we have even one more extra you can carry on us. Very nice. A lot of experience points. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 away! Well, uh, it, you know, I just wanted to prove why, why, why you wanna... <laughs> I just wanted to prove why you wanted to have, you know, like the... Um, the shrine. I mean, obviously the shrine is good to have, like, obviously. Very good. 
Uh, can you walk here? No. That's actually kind of weird. It's just you can walk there. This is unsure. But yeah, um, this right here I think is crap. If you can't walk on, on that path, then it's no point. Even you could walk here if you like. Uh, yeah, no way. Let's explore the roof more. A lot of roofs to explore. I probably can't go that path longer. DK climb down that side. Why would I want to go there? I'm unsure. Uh, can I? Yeah, you can go around here. Okay, so there's one more Kodomo. Like where the boat was. To like over that air angle thing in the north. Somewhere. Okay, so you jump down here. Oh, that was awesome. There's a bonfire here, okay. Yeah, because you wanna scare them away, right? I don't know if it happens the boss, but I think it does. I don't know, it's still there. <laughs> it's like, let's kill it. It's standing over there, it's weak. Yeah, it's okay, that might happen the boss then. If you have the bonfires, nice, like this Muriel. Um, yeah, that might be a thing for the boss then. I see, but it, it's interesting. So this, this, you can fight the boss, I guess, much, much quicker. But all, it also could be that well, actually you want to move around and get all the bonfires. Bad boss is actually man, man, uh, manageable, you know. So it could be a thing. Make sure you can move over that body. Yes, here we go. Uh, pretty good timing. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, so I've never been here before. It's, that's a shrine, I believe. Okay, here's when we walk, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, here's the boat again, so. <laughs> I missed it. Here's like a huge axe. A really a horrible place to fight him on. That place like, is very like you can't move to the right or you can't be down if you die, so it's very very limited. Yeah, so I think you wanna go I'm on, I'm unsure here. Like you, you wanna probably go to whatever purple things are. I mentioned the last time, I don't know what the <laughs> uh, I'm too eager. There we go. Uh yeah, I mean you wanna go to that I think. You can jump down. Oh, is that where you run then? I'm very confused to be honest. Absolutely are. Is that where you run then? No, but it shouldn't be because... That's not what that looks. It's cold and down there. there so okay. Do you, can, do you think you can do this guy from like the jumpy thing? It could, but... It's very effective. Uh, could but yeah. There's a Kodomo. It's super on the edge here. <laughs> I'm very afraid of falling down. It gives a little, you know, edge. Yeah, so okay, good, we're on the side of this uh, ruined boat. So that's the right pattern. Um, I have nobody. Okay, yeah, of course. A lot of these shit things everywhere. This one again. Yeah. Oh, this could be an. Uh... Say this could be a shortcut, but I'm not sure now. 
<laughs> yeah, so the pirates were in the fight this place, now the gods are angry. Very classic Japanese, very standard Japanese uh, culture. Uh, you know, yeah, it's a big shrine here. From these guys. Bonfire, okay, yeah. So you probably have to do this thing then for the boss. I guess. <laughs> well, that's a trophy at least, okay, yeah, yeah, trophy, so why not? Uh, probably makes the boss easier. And uh, it's Kodomo. So you get a message when you get all the, all the combos. <laughs> I was like, not missing it. Yes, sorry. Great. Um, I think you get a message each time you get all the combos. I am pretty sure on that. So, yeah. Good night, good night, good night. Lose you. Oh yeah, there's a last Kodomo, I guess. To the right here. Yeah, because I think they have. That's not the shrine, it's right. I don't think the shrine is up there. I don't believe so. Um, could be actually. That could be. The, that could be that shrine actually. Oh, that is probably that shrine. That's probably the shrine closest to the boss. Here, yes, you can walk anymore. Uh, you can't like go over this thing. No, you have to like really go around this place. You have to go back, I believe. Shine. Oh, yes, yeah, boom. This would be good to have here. This is one I have, but you know, I can cut myself five. Of yeah, I've never been at this direction, so let's go here then. Uh, could be some zombies spawning, I don't know. Some of the demons, some of the Oh shit, just go ahead and see shit. Can't see anything, so that's great. Whoa, whoa! And I died. <laughs> I died double, yeah. I was like, what? That, that was seriously... Wow. I didn't even see them before. They got like really hammered by its combo there. Ugh. I was like, ugh, because this is like, this is a really... Uh, this is a really long path back here, I think. Not fun. Yeah, you're gonna die if you fall down there, definitely. So you have to be very careful. Not looking forward to fighting the big skeleton warrior on top of this uh, roof here. But I guess you didn't have to turn on the bonfire. If you do, that should keep the spear the evil spirits away. Uh, you know, knowing what happened here. Now what I'm pretty sure that. Um, it's gonna weaken them. They probably go for the lighthouse thing. Right? A lighthouse, of course. Uh, Hell sheets, we like don't go here, it's shore, visiting on the shore, and then of course you, you know, you ward off, you know, the spirits, you know, you know from the sails and so on. Uh, I think that's where it comes from, uh, makes sense, at like a standpoint. And this guy here is really annoying on this place here, very, very annoying. 
see if we want to here. Oh, <laughs> where are we aiming at? And you can't avoid him. Like, you, how do you avoid him? Yeah, you can, but it's very, very hard because I'm so afraid of he's falling down, right? I'm so afraid of he's falling down. So I think I died. Uh, which that helped. I think I maybe can jump down here, but no, this is the actual. It's the right path? No, this is the wrong path. It's for that. Chest, right? Let's see. Yeah, I thought I'd like view the bed there. I think so. I don't know if we can jump down, no, that would be the wrong path. I suppose so. Uh, then we get here. I wanna shoot this stuff. What have we gun? Oh, a cannon? Okay, let's try it then. Let's see if it works. If you can, if you can though, because I mean, the aim is really horrible here. Uh, yeah, well, that, that works. Great. What? How did you avoid the damage? Shit. That's fun. Wrong weapon, or uh, stuff I mean, whatever. There we go. I don't wanna die here because my body has a lot of souls in it, so I wanna get back, of course. Yeah, this thing was nice. Body back, that's good. Nice. Yeah, power appeal and electricity, everything else. I'm very buffed there. Yeah, I haven't been here before, but I don't think we have to go here. We got that trophy, so this is probably a card more here. Yeah. As I imagined. This is the last one. Yes. Nice. Getting all the cardamoles. Okay, so you wanna change the, the shrine. The second shrine here is clearly better for like an early Aster boss. Could you be in here? Yeah, it's a demon. And a chest. Okay, it's a demon. Uh, here we go. Easy one without the axe. Oh, the break of armor. What's that? Maybe I'll just help with someone. And a chest. Hmm, something uh, epic. Summoner's candle. Hmm, is that like points to your. Um, okay, I don't know. <laughs> Crafting, maybe? I, I don't know what that would be. So, how do you scale this place? <laughs> no, this is, the, this is the million dollar question. How do you actually leave this place? I literally, I don't have no idea. I also have zero idea. I. What is this? Wow. Um. What? There we go. I was pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I was pressing the wrong button there. Uh, yeah, how do we leave? Like, I, I don't get it. If you want to get to the shrine, how, how do we get up again? Like, how do we actually get to the roof? Or can we open up a door somewhere so we can, like, do something? Oh, yeah, and there's this probably. 
Oh, he just died. Okay, he just died. There. Okay. Probably could fight it from the back. Okay. Yeah, that opened up the whole uh, stage easier as well. Uh, I'm thinking, you know what? I have to kill anyway. I am quite sure. Yeah, this should be the easiest shrine to use. So let's go here. A lot of codomos. Uh, you can look at them here, right? Yeah, I have uh, I have a pretty good selection here. You know, I can have the healer one as well. I you can see that you know it's actually pretty good for boss ball. Yeah. So the boss, the boss, the water guy, Umibushi. Should we change some stuff? Uh, I think that the more fire, the better. Right? Actually, let's level some stuff. You can probably level up, you know. You can probably level up. Um, I kind of want to save point more spirit, but... We have a use of fire spirit. That's good. Two more. Yeah. Probably gonna get some more spirit. It's really good. So we get ten spirit. Not very interesting one of things. Yeah, skill is good though. Um, 27. I'm thinking that we probably want to have like some more fire stuff, you know. And I'm a ninja, right? So I can use my my inventions here to fight. Uh, we might just have some new stuff here that we can level up. I have checked for a bit. So the wild side is checked out. But I don't think so. Oh, we have the posture again. We have oh, we had the five user cost. You have to really look at the user cost, right? That, 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 that is huge. Five. That is, that is really, really hefty. Now, yeah, that's okay. The presentation. The whole. Where, where's the fire one? Here's one. Uh, yeah. You probably want to get this thing. But more, more fire stuff, right? Because you're fighting the, the water guys. The fire. That sounds really good as well. Then. Seven Yutsu <laughs> cost though. Mega. It's like a huge bomb. Yeah, the Mega Horukadama. That's a huge bomb. Oh, yeah, then, then you can have two. Actually. That's a good thing actually if you go for the fire one. Then, because if you can only have one, that's doubling your, uh, <laughs> your, your uh, Horukadama. Yeah, that's double one. I think it actually doesn't double the bigger one. Probably one of these two. But, yeah, the Iga style uh, bombs here. Yeah, uh, more damage. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, so we have more. That's like you get back your ammo. Yeah, that can actually be good now. Usually, you know, crazy fire one. You can back your that one. I want that one. Okay. So go to the fire one. So now then, let's see if we can like fit that stuff in. Those right. We actually try to kind of move around so we can use all the different jutsu here. The new jutsu uh, and. One is clearly good, so I have space for that one, that's great. The other one costs 7 though, so if I remove like the end toxin pills. Uh, we already have one. Then we have, let me take this one first instead. And we have it, yeah why not, we have it there. That's fine. Um, I would like to have removed the lightning platform probably. Uh, instead, just ignore the whole, the whole thing, you know. But the question then is, can we fit in? So we have like three overrides. Yeah, we have three in overlap. Well, I need. I think I need like seven. So I need four more, I think. For that one, right? Yeah, four more, more. And if I level, see, uh, I think I'm gonna get two more, one more. That's gonna, that's gonna be enough. That is not gonna be enough. Yeah, I get only one more, right? So, so it doesn't really feel worth it. It does give me more damage too, but damage is pretty good. So I want to get spirit as well. And you can't just go and run around like saving your point. I really want to see how many spirit I will get. Um, the more, I, but I think I want to get like ten spirit. As I mentioned in my guide earlier today, if you get up to like, and you can see here this one. If you get to like, you know, six or seven, and so you get the whole. Yeah, so in the next, you get 10 key now, get 7 more key. Right, so there's a lot of value actually, this one, the 7 points. 
Uh, after that, it gets much more, you know, difficult, but yeah. Get one more Mother Spirit. And ten more uh, Recovery. So that's two on that one, really good, it's a fire one. And then you can see this one here, it's like, yeah, okay, I don't actually use the first Riken one. Which is 10% skill damage, but I think it's really, really good, so I'm gonna use it probably afterwards. But this is fire now, water enemies, that's great. Trash your sense, so it's not great, but yeah. Okay, so I think we have what we can prepare right now. I don't think we can fit in the other one. But we have three spots left, though, so we can actually get something in here. Um, for like, uh, yeah, for three. Like the medicine. But this really is no point for it. I don't think we have any spot for it at all. Post the one where I should do something, we need one point, so whatever. I don't, I don't bother with that. Uh, I don't think we can fit it in at all. Yeah. Yeah, for three use the over, but. You know, it's, I like that. You swap them around, right? So, you, depending on what you're facing, that's what you use. Now, that, let's fight the boss. <laughs> let's die the boss. Are you sure you can avoid that one? You can move here. Yeah, I think you can just walk to the boss now. Um, this guy was just killed. It's gonna be in the way. And what do you wanna do here? Why not? Set it up. Okay, this is the actual boss then. I'm fighting him with the fire bones. <laughs> the mask is fucking crazy. We're fighting him with the, the, the those bonfires. I don't know if that does much, but. Uh. Hugo Gaucher. The first one is the least utilized Japanese boss the world. Thing is. Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't want to have it burn, uh, right? I don't want, I don't want to like... Whoa! Oh, I found... Uh, okay. Okay. He already jumped. You can shoot at me now and you die for hit, so you want to avoid that. Uh, okay, or if I fight me. Okay. Oh shit. 
Oh, that was really close. So that's the right side. Let's buff up again. Why not? Might as well. Um, yeah, there's no point not to really, I feel. So I can skip it now. My body should be well for now. I hear this. Uh, thank you, boss. Nice. No honor in this boss. Oh. Yeah, you get a hit speed when it's clear, yeah. It's one. It's better when it's clear. <laughs> when it has two hands, it'll be safer in, in the body. One hand is aiming at you. So I don't know what it's like now. Maybe it's Okay, there is a nice no spamming uh, avoider and it was not fine. No! Oh, goddammit, he, he jumped it, so I lost the aim. Oh! Fuck. One of the big bombs. That's great, you know, so there's a huge ship team here. I think you died. That, that is clearly just a one shot ability for him. He did like 2500 health, right? And I have like what? 1000? <laughs> I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I almost fall off there. Yeah, I have some like 1000 lives, so, you know. Even that for like 100 lives, I don't know. But yeah, that, that is clearly him. Oh, sorry. There we go. And the skeleton here. Yeah, whatever. In the follow you. Let's buff it up. I should be able to unlock the. Actually, I, I could unlock the fire spell, you know. I really, I really use Mavic, so I could. I guess I should have the fire instead of lightning. Yeah. Having burning is just great. I just have to go for the hand if I can, but I don't want to go up there. Uh, like, I was aiming at the face, I could have, like, I could have got out and just on there. Uh, I don't I 
Eigentlich ist es nicht abends, wenn ich das auch nicht gehen Ja, ist wieder neu. Ja, yeah, ist doch viel Weakness, ja, das ist nice. Aber das ist nicht so, Yeah, I think this boss could be a lot of annoyance in that thing. I tried to use the... <sighs> the boss doesn't feel that hard. Obviously the Caterpillar was much easier, that boss was way easier. That, that was too easy, that boss. Caterpillar was super easy. But uh, this boss is clearly all about like, he has one super strong ability. The other one aren't really like important, right? You avoid them and so on. And, the hard thing is, 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 of course, is that if you um, uh, say it, I used the, the high stance strong attack, then I was screwed. So you can't be too greedy, I suppose. If you if you greed in this boss, you will die. And, you know, that's not fun. Um, uh, next. Oh. Jumping from it. Push some jump to the left. At the beginning. And then that is, oh, again there. Okay, it's the same thing again there. Hmm. I might have a chance weapon here. It's very, very dangerous if you use the, the high stance. But it feels so good otherwise, the boss. <laughs> it's a little annoying in the boss, definitely, because the high stance normally here works really, really well against the boss. Usually, you know, if you got the shooting thing here, you can hit him with a high stance, long as ability, you can go back again. It feels really good, it feels really good. And, uh, like it feels safe. Uh, but then suddenly, or some, sometimes you don't shoot in and twice me, and you die. So it's uh, probably not worth the risk, I suppose. I <laughs> went into it there. Oh! Oh god. I went into it, I think. I think I actually had avoided it here by just moving to the right. But then I panicked because I was shooting it away, so I wanted to do that like some random whatever, you know, I reached the maneuver and that made me, yeah, uh, like spinning quick. Yeah. Uh, but that the bonfire definitely that, that removed uh, from ads the smaller water guys. It is pretty clear. The body to the right again. Quickly get it. Oh, I. Burn! Burn, you bastard.
super dope. That means no it is. He must have ruins on the bridge there. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, that's tricky. Ah, he must have. I think, yeah. The bastard probably ruined part of the, of the water bridge there. Or the, what's it called, really? I don't know what it's called in that language. Like, it's, the, it's kind of like. I don't know, like housing with the water. Hmm, yeah. I just, I just put the bridge uh, where I'm from, but I don't know, like, it's crazy there's no platform on our bridge. I don't know. But yeah, and I'm working on this. One weird thing is this bomb does less damage than the other bomb, and it's supposed to be a better bomb, but it's just left, it can be left afterwards. And it does. There are two of those. And it does less damage. But yeah, I think you're safe. Good. 
Oh, you're okay there, bro. You're gonna be okay around the way. Round probably. Yeah, that's good. There's some items as well. I don't know why, but it might be the bonfire thing. Yeah, like you needed three bonfires. Yeah, it's probably like you needed bonfires, and for every bonfire you, you did, you lost one of the like this app, the mini guys, and that gave you smart sort of. Well, that's nice. Yes, that's the end of this mission. The Walker mission. Probably the cutscene now. Yeah. Knife years ago, Saigo no Chorego was suspected. Mori de la Yoko no Mono de Sleto. Yeah, using a guardian. This guy. Oton Kyoto. Shinshu, Sanada, Kochiran, Skimashi. Shikashi. Tongo Kuaiba, Kuga, Hong Kong. Yeah. オークの大名が既に道役を結んでおります。三つなりだのは人気。いや、早まったか。いかにすれば、ここまで来られるかを待ちましょう。ふみか。また木を振りかざして敵を増やさなくてもいいが。家康殿には成功法では勝てない。わしと共に手を汚してくれるか、行こうとのよ。Left hand looks more like a demon left eye. Some burning, maybe. Like he's hiding his face with his burn thing from this thing around. Or the eye of dead, of course, here's the evil guy. Here we go. Our... Yeah, I mean, that guy looks like he's... 
Men låt oss fram nu så hittar Dion så att han har en Like he's infused with the demonic power as well. So. Like a left eye Joker realm. So, of course he is collaborating with the, the main evil guy. Yeah, you see my spirit there. Yeah. Probably get the next... Next region now. The Vacuum's only could in my spirit, so... But it could be side missions though. I never get this case like, oh, now you get like the way of the ninja, oh, so, you, so now we can like do some mission and learn Ninjutsu, but don't really have that. <laughs> it's like you're using it for 10, 20 hours now, it's like, why, why is it getting there now? Um, yeah, submission on the boats again, that's nice, I have this place, the bridge of bone, that sounds nice. Uh, I don't get it, I think you have... So I did miss 3D, okay, yeah, so I did miss 3 yes. I think like, did I didn't I get everything in the mine? Okay, I guess I missed 3 of them. Yeah, okay. That explains it. So I have the rest of them, right? Yeah, 9. So, mm. and that's the last one, though. I actually got it on the same day, I just redo it just on Twilight. It was the... Um, the Ocean Orient, 38, that's 49, so that's... Probably a little hobby. Anyway, uh, I have, as a quick review then, the ocean wash again, and then we're gonna take a short break. I'm gonna go and exercise for a bit, and then I'm gonna go back and play the game. And um, yeah, I, I really was interested, definitely. Uh, you clearly have like a second level of making this one even harder. Perhaps on Twilight Vision, you can't even do the bonfire thing. Uh, so I mentioned right away that, oh wow, we can actually go to the boss so, so easily. This is like one of the biggest maps since so far in the game. We can go to the boss so easily. That's strange, interesting. It's in dynamic, but they clearly have had like, you know, either you went to the boss or you did the whole map. Because you could go to the boss like in a minute, right? Or you did the, boss, or you did the whole map and then you got away those, um, those mini water guys. So that was, that was, that was interesting. Uh, and I, I have to say, this game's level design is always really good. I think the level design in this game is actually, to me, could be the challenge most. And also, again, then, what I don't like people compared to much of something, but this has way better level design. And this is a. This is more like, like gameplay. Maybe it's hard to kind of like grasp what I mean with that, but it feels a lot more like gameplay ish, right? Then it's like mini less always oh, go around and this force the fight up. But here you have this map was very good level design because you had uh, this whole new gameplay with like you're on this small small bridge all the time, right? You can fall off all the time. I didn't fall off that much um, because I was always thinking about it. But that, that limited my movement so much more. So it's like you had this passage, you know. But it's not the same thing as being like in a like, cave. It's like you can't move so easily left to right but you can but it's not easy here's more like if you do you die so you have to be very very like straight everything so that that enforced a new gameplay on you right so that actually was very interesting and something that uh, again then this game does very well that it's like okay let's do this now with the character let's do this now right so you actually have like a very interesting way to like force this gameplay on you so the last ma uh, main mission we had in poison grounds okay forcing you time you have to be quick, you have to go down and poison, find the heal, you have to do this stuff, and so on, right? So the, I think that the game does that very, very well, actually. It's very well done uh, on those spots. Extremely good uh, on those spots, Ab absolutely. And um, yeah, I think, that, I think that this thing definitely pointed it out. It's like, okay, we can do this, but, you know, what else? Okay, so similar enemies, but very, very narrowed. Like for example, the skeletons were up on that on the roof. Is that you can't go to the right because you get stuck there. If you get left, you fall down and die. So it's like okay, you have to fight these really, really 
high, you know, high attack, really high attack enemy. He's very, he's very good at hacking, also in a linear fashion. And you can only fight him in linear, so it's like it's back and forth and actually very complicated. Um, so that was, that was great. The boss, uh, I thought it was decently hard. I, I read uh, this one of the bosses I actually knew about before playing the game. And uh, Yuki one I have, uh, I, I'm imagining it's going to come. I saw one brief snow image in some trailers, like, yeah, obviously Yuki, Yuki Wana. That, that's the only boss I know is going to be. And the Ogres, yeah. The Ogres was the first person in the game uh, on trailers and so on. This boss, second one, and the Yuki Wana. I saw some snowy battle ones, and I was like, obviously it's going to be Yuki Wana. It was just a snow lady, right? Freezes male, ma like, she seduces a freezes males. Uh, yeah, the tragic uh, Tetsuki Wanas. Something about I really like some sort of Duck Press Demon Yokai, so Yokai here and that, you know. But we can see them in general folklore, right? With other male or females, like for example in Sweden we have the, something called the neck or necken, which is like means the nude, pretty much. And that's um, and that's a male, right? That he lures uh, people down in the water and drowns them. I think that's like does he lure children? I think he lures both children and females, I guess at least like a nude, you know, beautiful man. Uh, or like a young, you know, straggling teenage boy, something like that. And he lures, uh, I think, primarily females then down in the water, right? Seduces them and, and drowns them. So this is of course something you tell you. But I mean, obviously that is something you tell in folklore. You tell your children that okay, don't go to that lake, to like a teenager or whatever, because you can you can drown. Okay, it's, it's strong rivers or whatever, um, because it's like an evil spirit. You know, this typical thing, right? And we have the. This is Irish folklore, you have the Kelper, I think, which is like a horse, that if you ride on it, it goes into the water and drowns you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the, yeah, I think it's the head works. Like if you, I think it's, yeah, I think it's a Kelp, Bio Kelper, uh, and if you if you ride on it, it will just jump into the water and drown you on, on it, right? Uh, which is way more... Yeah, that one doesn't make much sense to me. <laughs> I have to read more about that. No, but I, I know that's the... definitely the horse that drowns you. Very similar to to, to neck, to the neck, uh, but that but that one is weird though because like uh, I I could see them telling the children that or children or young whatever teenagers oh, don't go there because it's like some evil spirit that seduces you and rapes you and kills you whatever right but it's like it's a horse don't ride on it because it will drown you I guess I guess they were probably like don't ride on wild horses because they will drown you maybe that was. How that folklore started is a little weird, oh yeah, a little weird. Of course, in Japanese folklore, we have the kappa instead that you know also drowns people. So that the whole thing with like water and uh, water yokai stand in, in in Japan, but the water folklore that is drowning you it's very common, right? Um, however, to back to this stage then to the ocean wars again, the umabushi this kind of water. Uh, elemental thing for this stage, it's very un very unused, very uncommon in the folklore, very in, in anime, or whatever it's one of the games, and it's and I, I think I get why because it's like it's a water elemental kind of like it, it was very interesting actually, uh, I have to say. Not that it was a bad boss design. I think the bosses are pretty good. They jumped around a little, they had this one insta kill ability which we've never seen before. It's actually a new thing actually. I have to have to say that because we have seen some other things that usually kill you one attack, but this is the first thing that truly was like this is gonna kill you. And I mean, I don't have much health points. Like I, I'm not a health point. I don't have high armor. Like I'm a very I'm kind of squishy. I'm a ninja, much more than a samurai. So for me, um, obviously I, I would I would die from most strong attacks and things like or take a lot of damage. But but clearly here this this, this is more than um, more than twice of my total life points. So even if I was like full strength stamina, there's no way I could survive that right. Maybe if you're at level 100 and have probably, you know, probably not. So I think that's the, that's the first boss so far in the game. They had like a super, like 100% sure kill ability. So other ones usually survive with like very left. The, the vampire lady, she would be like hitting you. And if she paralyzed you in close combat, you would die. Because she would paralyze combo you. So you, you, you would all suffer from that. So that was a sure combo so to speak but she didn't have like this but that's but that still is more about where you were positioning yourself with her ability for you so on so if the ability was used on a, on a long range you would survive if she didn't dive you so that you had a chance at it so right so that was the same interesting this thing was if you hit you're always dead 100 percent sure right and i said again then 
on her you clearly could have maximized your body and stamina and so on uh, and then you have more life and then you would survive easier and the percentage would last shorter and so on so you could over level it to survive it or just have the perfect empty you know build for that but here it says that you die so that's the first thing in the game uh, in new I read a little about this boss on some review or something and I thought oh this boss is possible I, I honestly don't like to that at all and I get it but it's annoying because it has one shot ability that absolutely kills if you do that mistake but really, I didn't feel the boss was that hard, except that. It was kind of easy, probably the second easy boss. Or actually, no, it's probably harder than the human, like the antagonist, but he was in a in the samurai, uh, you know, human body. Uh, that one was easy, I think, but it, mm, kind of easy. Uh, I think that this boss had... Uh, well, well, okay, one thing though I have to say, um, that... Being a ninja, I'm playing the ninja build right. And being a ninja, you definitely have an advantage sometimes. Definitely, because it's like okay, so I figure out it's a water boss, <laughs> and I've seen during the stage that okay, these water elements are very weak against the explosive uh, tool sets that fire magic supposedly does. So I have the fire spirit on me. Why not? Because it gets two stuff too, and then I combo that with going in there with two bombs, right? Two bombs. And fire sewer cans. I have three fire projectors on me, right? And that is probably, I don't know exactly percentage wise how much of that was the life on the boss, but I, I would imagine that I did probably around 20% or so from the boss total life points purely on fire projectors. Then I also have seven Kunai, seven sewer cans, that is like 5% or like 2 3, but they're back at probably so easily to do like, sh that's not like a few percentage, you know, he's spamming those uh, Kunai, it's so easy to get them. Yeah, they win safely, so whatever. But the um, the mid, the, the smaller bomb, that that was weird though. That was really weird. And I hope that is something that the bigger bomb has a bigger blast area at least, so more enemies better. Because that was that was really weird. It's good to have it on the boss, because they did the second highest damage. So it's still worth having on the boss compared to the other thing. Kunai did like 20 each, where that did like 500. So obviously better. But um, <laughs> the the big bomb did less damage than the smaller bomb. So you have three different bombs, right? And I didn't, I didn't unlock the large one, but yeah, I used the medium and the small one. And the small one did like 500 plus burning, but the medium did like 300 plus burning, or 250, 300 plus burning, which I don't understand at all. That makes no sense. Even if it's the big one does a bigger blast area, so you hit more enemies, normal enemies, I would imagine it's still doing higher damage per, you know, blast, because it's a bigger blast. So that, that that was weird. That that really looked like a balance bug to me. Like why would the the, the bigger bomb that you have less of be worse damage wise? Um, that that that, was, that didn't fit correctly. Um, but yeah, uh, that that could be why the boss was kind. I, I would say easy. I would say the boss was the medium difficulty. Um, but definitely that they have in the whole fire setting there. You can definitely do a lot in this game by setting up the correct items or if you have the new super sleep. So you can really do all that or I'm pretty magic. I mean sure, I mean I was using magic, but I know we could take a short look at that very quickly. I don't I'm not using it, but I know there are existing, you know, fire here we fire talisman. So it, obviously if you had that thing and have like 20 points of magic, I would imagine a shooting fire boss that was like magic or fire probably easily does five six seven hundred a bit more than a thousand damage probably per fire right and there are some kind of i don't know whether that's oh, it's two fire yeah, that's that shit uh actually the boss is probably water based if you get this thing you probably take less damage too that's true yeah so i don't know yeah but i think this is good in the game pretty good in the game you can prepare stuff uh vastly um but yeah pre pretty good stage i like as i mentioned i like the whole like suddenly you can't move really so you have to move very you have to play very differently previous stages the enemies for uh, mostly the rehashes, but they're, it's okay so long as it's a new kind of enforced gameplay on you, so you have to do about that. And then you have the modern enemies, they were very annoying, but there is fire bobs, so <laughs> figure that out. And the boss was, you know, okay. They didn't suit too much on the second phase because I just kind of blasted through it with the fire spirit. And so again, this game is a lot of preparation, which I like, you know. It feels, it is as, as an unusual player, it's a lot about planning how you want to fight the boss. Um, so that's really cool in the game. But, 
I don't know, I think that the game has... The bosses in the game are harder when they're like... Not necessarily the humans, but... The vampire probably was the hardest one. The new was be the hardest, actually. Even if you could sh like be with sheep on it. I don't know really, it's like the... Sometimes the bosses are just... Uh, probably the crowded areas. So actually, the first boss is hard because it's so cr tiny in the area. This boss you had very open area to move. You could fall down and it once or twice. I did it twice, yeah. Mm. Also a little fit on it. Um, but I think this boss actually was a little too easy in two, two, two regards. And that was when it was doing the boat hand ability. The first hand ability, you had to learn how to like, hide his armpit kind of thing. And that was, when you did it correctly, it was really good. Um, the beam thing also, when you avoid it correctly, it also you can do massive damage to it. So that was fine. Um, but the two arm thing. You just walked into it and attacked it. It was very easy to avoid it. You just go into him and yeah, he's like, super vulnerable because you can punch him while he's doing it. That, that, that move was really weird. I don't think the most, most players will hit by that. And like it felt natural that okay, I'm gonna avoid by either going really far backwards or really forward. And if you move forward, I can hit on you. So I always pick forward. Um, that's just you know, 500 damage to his face for no reason really. So that, that was really easy. And the whole second phase, I didn't see much, much of it. but. It felt like it was very obvious, like I needed a head kind of smashing thing that they, they had a living soul, I guess, kind of the key ball, they were vulnerable. So it's kind of obvious how you would attack him. So it felt like a boss that if you did a mistake, instantly died, but it was very obvious how his weakness was. We have a lot of bosses, I would say, new uh, vampire and so on. They were, well, the new way was kind of weird because he jumped at you and stuff like that. But yeah, the other one, the other one was like the vampire or so. They, they, were, they were kind of like, Get the pillar as well, I suppose. They were kind of like, I don't know exactly what to do now, but I think I can do this now, or this, aha, that's the key. It was more like figuring out. This boss was very telegraphing its move. So it's very, yeah, I think it felt very classic. It reminded me, I, on its size, I think, and also kind of how on World of Warcraft, because I played the last expansion, we were fighting um, Hela, called Hell, it's called in Swedish, Hela, and it's a big, like the most one. But it felt very like that because you fight this big guy and the moves he or she is doing, it's quite obvious. It's, like, it's a gigantic movement, right? It's much easier to predict them than like a, a small vampire that does quick stuff at you. Or like a human that has a lightning ability at you. They're much more dangerous in that aspect. So I think that made it both kind of easy because it's so obvious what it's going to do. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this playthrough. Um, leave a comment, subscribe. And I'm going to probably do another one today. In one, two hours maybe, I'm gonna go out a bit and so on. Do some uh, martial art training in real life. Uh, see you guys next time, have a good day.